Hello guys, um, this is part two of the solving quadratic equation using factorization. Uh, this part two is coming about because some students said to me they're still struggling on how to solve uh, some of those questions that you know they had to do. So this is the question on this side here. I mean it's the same thing on this side but this is the question that some of you found difficult and we're going to solve it together. So the first thing you have to do is do a cross multiplication like I've done here. So you have to multiply x minus two by two x plus two. So x minus two times two x plus two. So it's the same thing as putting both of them in bracket. The same thing on the other side where you have to do x plus four times x minus one, you put it in bracket. So that's what we've done here. So the next thing we have to do is expand this bracket. That's the right vocabulary to use. If we expand this bracket by doing x times 2x, we get 2x squared. x times 2, we get plus 2x. Uh, and then if you do negative 2 times 2x, you're going to get negative 4x. And if you do negative 2 times positive 2, you get negative 4. So if you expand this bracket, this is what you get. The same thing on the other side. x times x is x squared x times negative 1 is minus 1x or, you know, negative 1x or negative x. And then once you finish multiplying this bit here by these two terms, which we've, which we've just done, you need to multiply this one by these two terms as well. So positive 4 times x is positive 4x and positive 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So we've expanded both sides. Now we need to move on to the second slide, which is this one here. So if I move on to the second slide, now whatever we wrote, whatever we had after expanding the brackets, this is what we had. So I'm gonna now uh, simplify these expressions. So 2x squared, now positive 2x minus 4x will give you negative 2x, so that's that. And then you have negative 4 left. And on this side, negative x plus 4x becomes positive 3x. So you're gonna have x squared plus 3x minus 4. The next thing is to collect the like terms. When we say collect like terms, we're putting all the terms that look alike together. So this x squared, if it has to come to this 2x squared side, because it's positive right now, when it comes to this side, it becomes a negative x squared. Now, some people use, usually say, well, eliminate the x squared. How do we eliminate a positive x squared? We do a negative x squared. So whatever you do on this side, you do on the other side. So negative x squared on this side makes this to be eliminated. So you do negative x squared on this side as well. Now, we have negative 2x written now. The term that looks like negative 2x on this side is positive 3x. Now, if I have to eliminate this, I have to do negative 3x, won't I? So I have to do negative 3x on this other side. And for those who prefer the story that says, move this to this part, you know when you move this to this part, the positive sign changes to negative. So whichever story you like, you can use. Now then, after you've done the negative 3x, you're left with negative 4 on this side. So negative 4 on this side. The term that looks like negative 4 on this other side is this one here. However, to eliminate negative 4, I've got to do positive 4 on this side to eliminate it. So I've got to do positive 4 on that side as well. So that's why we have positive 4 there. Now, after eliminating all this on this side, we're left with just zero, isn't it? So this zero is what I wrote on here. Now, the next thing is to now um, simplify this expression here. So 2x squared minus x squared is 1x squared, or just x squared. Minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x. And of course, negative 4 plus 4 is zero. So I don't need to put the zero. I mean, plus zero is just zero. And then it was zero. Now, once you've done this, you then factorize. And when you factorize, this is what you get, which means x equals zero, which we've done, or x minus five equals zero. And if x minus five equals zero, x will be positive five. So your answer will be zero or positive five for that question. Another question that students said they couldn't really understand how to do was this bit here. So here you have, 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. Remember the product is 12 because you do the coefficient of whatever, the coefficient of x squared, you take it, you times it by the last number here to get the product. So you want two numbers that you can multiply to get 12, but add to get negative 7. 
those two numbers are negative three and negative four because negative three times negative four will give you positive 12. And negative three add negative four will give you negative seven. So you put negative three in the bracket. Remember the first thing is to put these two x in the two brackets you make at first and then you then put those two numbers. However, one of them can be simplified. If you divide both sides by two, you're gonna have X minus two on this side. So this will be your final answer to, I mean, your, uh, if you factorize this, this is what you get. Now, if X minus two is zero, X must be two then, isn't it? And if two X minus three equals zero, um, two X will be three, isn't it? Because if you eliminate this negative three from here, but adding three, you've got to add three on that side. So, or if you move it there, it becomes positive three. So two X equals three. You've got to divide both sides by two to get your X. So your X in this case will become 1.5 or one and a half. So hopefully this has helped to clarify what you couldn't understand and the questions you were set for your, for your work. So, um, just revise this and hopefully it should be um, all easy for you to do now. So thank you for watching.